it's Ben Smith here. I'm one of the trainers here at Nutriformance and Athletic Republic. This month we are talking about exercises you can do to put on muscle mass and gain strength. The exercises you want to choose are those that are going to use up the most amount of muscle and you want to do those exercises for a high amount of volume. So we're talking three to four sets of eight to twelve reps and use a weight that's going to be challenging. So the first exercise we're going to do is going to be a kettlebell front squat. You're going to hold a kettlebell up to your shoulders like this. Pitch your elbows in so that weight doesn't go anywhere. Your feet are going to be about shorter width apart. You're going to brace your core. First thing you're doing is you're breaking at the hips. Get your knees out, bring your hips down, and then push them through your heels and stand right back up. Just like this right here. Next exercise I'm going to show you guys is a barbell row. We're going to be here, get a nice wide grip. I'll show you guys from the side how to do this. We're going to get nice and bent over. You want your chest to be about parallel to the floor. And all you're going to do is you're going to pinch your shoulder blades together, pull your elbows up. Right here. This is going to work your biceps. This is going to work your lats. Nice and easy. The last exercise I'm going to show you guys is dumbbell shoulder press. This is going to work your triceps, your pecs, and your interior delts. We're going to be here. Press it up. Nice and easy. Not too complicated. If the shoulder press causes some shoulder issues for you, you can always substitute it by using a uh, tower or a cable and doing a single arm chest press. It'll basically work the same muscle, still working your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Um, remember, if you're going to uh, try to gain muscle mass and strength, you want to incorporate these exercises three to four times a week. You can always refer back to the in body machine we have to uh, track your progress as well. Thank you for watching. Jenny, I'm one of the dietitians here at Nutriformance, and if you all haven't heard yet, we have a fun and exciting new tool here in our nutrition department. This here is our new InBody machine, and what it is is a bioelectrical impedance analysis machine that measures your body composition. So I'm going to have Ellie help me demonstrate um, how it works, and we're going to run through a sample results sheet to show you what kind of information it gives you and how it can be of benefit to you. So the first thing we're going to do is remove socks, shoes, um, anything metal on the body. And then we will, she will, I'll have her wipe off her hands and feet with this magical in-body wipe. Basically what it is is just salt water. It helps with conduction because, as I said, it's bioelectrical impedance. So it does send low-frequency electrical signals throughout the body, and that's how it measures the body composition. And the cool thing about this is it really helps to see beyond that number on the scale. So if anyone's ever been trying to lose weight, and they've been really good with diet and exercise for two weeks, they have on the scale, and it shows that they've gained two pounds. The thing is, you can't see what that two pounds is made of. So this is what it really helps see beyond that number on the scale and show what is really changing inside the body. All right, so we're gonna hop up on the machine, and the first thing it's gonna do is measure the weight. Do not grab the handles or move. And once that's done, we'll enter an ID number and the height and age. So if you don't know what body composition is, the main things that this measures is um, lean body mass or skeletal muscle mass, intracellular and extracellular water, and percent body fat. And it even gets down to, um, it does a segmental lean analysis, so it will measure your muscle mass in your right and left arm, and your right and left leg, so it can compare. So you can see her feet are lined up on the electrodes, and we have her thumbs on the electrodes, so it measures through your hands and your feet to get an accurate reading. And it's just a 45 second test. So it's gonna take 45 seconds, it's sending those electrical signals throughout the body, it's measuring the skeletal muscle mass, percent body fat, and the intracellular and extracellular water. So while that's being done, I have a sample result sheet here. So this is just an anonymous person. Um, we have the skeletal muscle mass, so it'll show in pounds there and then how many pounds of body fat they have. BMI, um, so the thing with BMI, it's kind of a bogus reading because it only takes into account height and weight. It doesn't take into account um, lean body mass. So for example, you could have a six foot three power lifter um, that weighs 250 pounds and a six foot three inactive person that weighs 250 pounds and they both have the same BMI. Um, but the thing is, it doesn't take into account how much muscle they have. 
Um, so that's what this is doing. It takes into account the lean body mass and then it will use that lean body mass to give us a basal metabolic rate. So that's how many calories this person would need in order to lay in bed all day and do nothing. So as dietitians, we can use that number to give um, you an accurate and individualized calorie goal for um, whatever your goals may be, whether it's weight gain, weight loss, weight maintenance. So this really just helps us um, give you a more individualized approach to diet and exercise. Um, so if you all are interested, you can email me at jennyl at nutriformance.com or you can email eric at ericf at nutriformance.com.